I'm Michelle. I'm the veterinarian here at the Elmwood Park Zoo, and today we're going to show you how we collect blood from several of our zoo animal species. You will see Courtney, one of our veterinary technicians, collecting blood from Penny alligator, Daruba giraffe, and Zian jaguar. By collecting routine blood samples on many of our zoo animal residents as part of their annual preventative health plan helps us to make sure that our animals are healthy and that they are doing well in managed care. As you can imagine, collecting blood from a wide variety of species can be very challenging. Here you will see Courtney using a very long needle in order to sample blood from Penny, our over 100 pound American alligator. Once we have obtained a blood sample from our animals, you will see that we place it in specific tubes so that we can run specific tests on the blood. This helps us to look at their white blood cell count, their liver values, their kidney values, their electrolytes, their cholesterol levels, and their triglycerides. Because most of our animals are exotic zoo species, unlike your domestic cats and dogs, we rely on specialty labs in order to evaluate their samples. For the majority of our reptiles, birds, and a number of our mammals, we send samples to the University of Miami's Wildlife Lab. Sending samples to specialty labs gives us the most accurate results. Now you will see Courtney working with Keeper Caroline to obtain a blood sample from Daruba, one of the Elmwood Park Zoo's giraffes. Through voluntary training, Daruba has been conditioned to allow a blood sample to be collected from his neck without the need for restraint and sedation. So today we're going to try to get a little bit of blood from Zian. Um, so Zian is our male jaguar um, and how we do blood here at Elmwood is through training. Um, so we are here with Zian's trainer Mel. Um, and what we do in this setup is we ask Zian to line up between the fence and the log and then he holds that position and then we give him a cue that tells him that we're going to touch his tail and then he holds his tail still and then I'm able to draw blood from it. Um, so he is allowed to leave this area at any time so he does it all through choice. Um, we do it for positive reinforcement um, and that's how um, we're able to get blood on um, all three of our jaguars. So we'll see if Zian wants to work with us today. As Courtney mentioned, we rely on voluntary training to help facilitate many veterinary procedures, including blood collection. You can now see Keeper Mel ask Zian to press his hip up against the fence in his holding yard. This allows Courtney to position his tail in a way that we can obtain blood from it. You will now see Courtney use a pair of electronic clippers in order to shave a small area of fur from the side of Zian's tail. While Keeper Mel continues to provide positive reinforcement, Courtney prepares to collect blood from Zian's tail vein with the help of a tourniquet. Zian's blood sample will be sent out to a lab for evaluation. We thank you for watching our video today and really want to thank everyone for all of their support during the zoo's closure.